I'm Darlene and welcome back to Super at 60. Today's the day. Today's the day I'm going to reveal to you our kitchen refresh. That's what I'm calling it. It's not a remodel whatsoever. Not even close. It is totally not a gut job, but it is just taking some things that I have thought about over the years really. Um, this kitchen, I have just taken a good look at it. You know, I spend an awful lot of time in my kitchen. And there's some things in here that just troubled me. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I just thought, you know, if only I could do that there, or if only I could change that up over there, or only a different paint or something, something, yes, something, something. <laughs> you never can quite put your finger on it. And then you take it seriously and you start going through magazines and books and you look at videos and you see different styles and things that are going on. Um, you know, 2022 style, um, and you get start to get ideas and you think, you know, I think that on a smaller scale would work for me in that particular area or over there, or maybe that's the color that I need in here, you know, because another issue that I have in my kitchen is brightness. It's a dark kitchen. It's a darker kitchen because the one little window that I have over my sink, and then I have these two big uh, French doors over here, but we have a summer house, a screen in porch on the back of our house, which we love and I wouldn't trade anything in the world for this screen in porch. We spend all our summers out there, the end of spring and the beginning of fall. And it's, it's covered, you know, there's a roof out there and the window and the screen in, and the doors here, the French doors, they are covered. Uh, and so the light bright of the sunshine coming in, it doesn't happen. I don't get that steady stream of beautiful sunlight. So that's one of the main reasons why we decided to do our kitchen refresh. Take a look. Or most obviously, you know, every time I look in the video camera, um, I look behind me because I'm usually at my, my little island area over there. I look behind and I would see this great big black hole, essentially. All the light was being drained out from this big black hole, which was just a slab of our stone that we have on our countertops. And yeah, it was wonderful for cleaning and all that. Um, but it really didn't get that dirty back there. So I wasn't worried about doing this. And this is light and bright. You can see it is that beautiful, beautiful farmhouse look that I have always loved since I saw it in my grandmother's. Oh, I don't know, my goodness, 50 some years ago. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a special, what do they call that? Um, it's, it just escaped me at the moment. <laughs> As does such as life. Oh, well, you know, beadboard, beadboard. There we go. Yes, beadboard. I, I, I love it. And I knew I wanted it somewhere in my kitchen and I knew that I had to brighten up back here. And so it was a perfect, it was a winning combination for me. Now in the before, up here we had, um, oh, there was a board that was right across here, just kind of connected the two cabinets together. 
and you would not believe uh, how much darkness, uh, how much that just that little bit covered the window. It was like this little cave over here. And I really thought, you know, if I could just get rid of that board, we don't need it anymore. And if we could just get a drop light there, a simple, simple fixture, that's all I wanted. I wanted nothing fancy, nothing over the top. And basically that's what I got. And I wanted something also in the gold. Now I've turned the light off for just a moment, just for filming purposes. But you can see it's that, uh, the Italian glass where it, with the little beat, the little uh, bubbles in it, the blown glass. And just that little plate up there of that brushed gold is so very pretty. It's very, it's very understated. And yet, when you turn the light on, <laughs> my goodness, hold on a second. Close your eyes. Woo, there it goes. Um, it brings a good amount of light to that, once again, dark corner of our kitchen. Do I love it? Yes, I love it. One of my very favorite things that I did um, I got this idea, oh my goodness, I think I saw it in a book. It was a cookbook. It was a, it was a hard cover, kind of a fancy cookbook. And I saw this color and I saw this idea of changing out the, uh, the border here, the trim, and just making it basic, plain, again, very, very, I hate saying that word farmhouse over and over again, but that's the look. That's where we've been going for the last 10 years or more, really. And I have not wanted to go there because I don't live in a farmhouse. But then I realized, you know, all these other people who have all this pretty kitchens and stuff, they don't live in farmhouses either. It's not really a farmhouse. It's just a look. It's a clean, classic, lovely look. And I was gonna have a new door made or try and buy a door. I was gonna do like a screen door, you know, like an old fashioned screen porch door. Uh, my friend Renee at Gourmet she did that in her kitchen and it is just adorable. I loved it and I thought, well, I maybe could do that, something like that here. But, you know, this is not real wood. It's just a cheesy, you know, builder grade wood uh, door, excuse me. And I talked it over with the contractor and he said, but I can make you one and I can do exactly what you want. And I thought, well, okay, but then, you know, if we, this is just a refresh, it's not a remodel. I love this door. I love the color. I love the little pantry door up there. Can you see that? There it is. Yeah, and the guy just cut that just perfectly. So there was enough room for that sign. I've had that sign for a while. And uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I finally got to put it up. But something else I really loved, this right here, this beautiful old fashioned doorknob with a pretty plate in the back. We changed all the plating and these, uh, we changed these to black. I can't think of the name of anything today. Everything's escaping me. <laughs> it's just one of those days. But anyway, um, it just gives a beautiful look. And of course we had it painted inside and out. That makes a difference too. Don't, if you're gonna have a door painted like this, um, don't forget to do the inside too, because it, it really does make a difference. <laughs> it makes opening the door and, and thinking, hmm, what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? It makes it a pleasant, pleasant experience. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite things. I absolutely love my new pantry door. And here is my big pantry right around the corner. I love it, I love it, I love it. Another perfect, perfect color for the scheme that I was going with, which is really just not a scheme. The walls are Simply White by Benjamin Moore, and it is white, but it is absolutely beautiful. The, not these walls you're looking at right now, but this wall right here. That is Simply White. And, uh, yeah, and I can't remember the name of these doors right now, but I will name the paints below for you uh, if you're interested at all. But we did get new pantry doors here, more of that shaker look, and we also got... Uh, new handles again the black beautiful and they just fold open like that you can see my incredibly <laughs> messy messy big pantry here um but hey it makes it it makes it much nicer to go into you know but anyway this makes me happy this makes me so happy small change and again we did uh the trim here the same thing just a simple simple trim and then it's kind of what you call a t a tea trim, just makes a tea. Nothing fancy in this uh, colonial 
house that we live in. And then there it is. I think I have to say my most favorite thing is right here. This absolutely precious little three-tiered shelf. You can see it from the side, very old fashioned. My grandmother had a shelf exactly like this in her house, honestly, over 50 years ago. I never forgot it. She had all her little knickknacks on it. She collected Hummels, of which I still own four of, I believe. Um, and she collected a couple other things too. But anyway, her whole collection she had on this little brown two shelf shelf, just like this. And I thought, well, two would be great. I couldn't find it. I, I went online and I tried to find the two shelf and no, no, no. But there were a lot of these three shelves showing up. Not, not a lot, I shouldn't say a lot, but there were you know, more than enough to choose from. Um, and they were not, um, not costly, not too terribly costly. Okay, but the problem was, um, you know, yeah, I could buy this three-tiered shelf and it just about was gonna fit perfectly uh, for 80 to $90. And I thought, well, that certainly is reasonable. Now it's old and I don't know the exact condition that it was gonna come in. You know, how sturdy was it gonna be? I wasn't quite certain. And I knew I wanted it painted a white or an off-white, I, I think. Maybe at one time I was gonna match it to my new pantry doors here, uh, the larger pantry. I might have done that. And I think that would look really pretty. But um, anyway, they wanted $120 to ship it to me. <laughs> we just had to laugh. That door just closed right away. We thought, well, that is just plain silly. So then I thought, well, then we'll go antiquing. Surely this will show up in an antique store somewhere, right? Well, yeah, but who, you know, we don't have time for that. We just don't have time for that. Not right now, anyway. So I was telling my contractor about it. I showed him a picture of some of the pictures that I saw through, uh, through uh, the marketplace. He said, I can make that for you. He said, you give me the exact dimensions you want and I can make that shelf for you. <laughs> I said, deal. So I sent him pictures and pictures and I sent him uh, colors and we took the exact dimensions of this dear little wall here. He even got the cut right. He even got the sweet little cut right. It's so graceful and so feminine. I was absolutely, I just screamed out loud when I saw it. I was so happy on my mom's sugar ball here and my plates that I've been collecting and some of my herbs that I can actually put on display here. Some of my little uh, pink, pink print plates, I think they're called, something like that. Um, and I don't know, some, I have, these are, this is really a working shelf and that's what I intended for it to be. Uh, rice, I keep my jars of rice up here. My whole wheat flour that I use on a daily basis, pretty much uh, rice, everything. It's all right there. And you know, I mean, come on ladies, the guys, you know, you're gonna change out this shelf a million times before you're perfectly happy with it. But right now for me, I am absolutely thrilled with my sweet, 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 perfect little shelf. reason for doing this kitchen refresh um, started because of that back there. I really wanted that brightened up uh, and up there, you know, the walls and now you see there is trim up there all the way along there. Beautiful trim work, but I just had it all. It's all done in a gloss. That's done in a glossy white. I don't know the name of that actually. Maybe they did the simply white and just did the gloss of it. I, that could be but um, I'll find out for sure. I will list the name of the paints for you below in case you're interested in doing something like this to your little kitchen or your big kitchen or you know, no matter where you live, if there's something you just wanna freshen up. You know, honestly, I used to think that, I used to hear and we hear it all the time, that the, most, the least expensive thing that you can do to freshen up a home or a room is paint. And I would have to agree with that. However, you know, paint ain't cheap like it used to be. I mean, I guess you can buy all kinds of paint. Benjamin Moore is not one of the most inexpensive paints, I realize that. But um, 
I don't know, it just seemed like, you know, my husband and I were both like, paint calls, what, a gallon? Are you serious? So, you know, everything costs money. To have something beautiful or nice costs money. So you save up for it, and when the time is right, it's yours, and you grab it, and you go for it. And that's what we did. And I hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. What would you have done differently? Or what did you enjoy? Or just, just talk to me. Talk to me, guys. I love it when we can have a conversation. And the only way we can do it is through the comments. So thank you again for joining me and thank you for having fun with me over on the community tab. I tell you again and again that community tab is a place to be here on Super 60. <laughs> then my videos, of course. We have such a good time up there. We really do. This has been a fun, fun little week's journey and you have been there with me and here we are at the end. And now it's time for Christmas baking and my kitchen is done just in time. I'm so excited. Thank you for joining me again. I'm Darlene. This is Super 60. I'll see you guys very soon. And Lord bless.